Hi guys, my name is Portia and welcome back to my channel. So I am on here today to talk to you guys about my course that I was taking this summer. I am officially done with the course and my final grade in the course is an A and I'm excited about that. Um, it's just like I'm checking all of my to-do things off of my list and so far everything is working out as planned so i'm just happy excited and thankful to god for that so right now i'm just sitting in my car i ordered some sushi and it's raining outside so i'm just waiting in the car until it is ready so i decided to why not just come on here and do a video for you guys um giving you an update on my course The first module was about mathematics, doing calculations and conversions, um, using different measuring systems, like have your metric measuring system, you have the standard one, then you have the, um, what is the other one? I forgot the name of it. But anyway, so the first module was just about, um, just what I like, conversions, using Avogadro's number, if you guys remember that. Um, and just reviewing about dosage calculations and why it's important and why a kilograms is important for medications. And each module also incorporates anesthesia as to how knowing certain things is important um, to anesthesia. And week two, was um, general chemistry one. So it was a review of things like atoms and elements and the periodic table and electrons, protons, neutrons, things like that. And then the third module was general chemistry two review. So that one got more in depth as to atomic number conversions from moles to, to grams. Um, it did more with um, equations chemical equations um, so that was a review so far everything that I've done have been what I already learned in my chemistry course that I was required to take for nursing school so so far everything is a review as far as the chemistry part goes um, talks about why it's important to know the chemical compound of certain medications so that you understand how they break down in the body and what mode of transportation that they actually need. So, so far, the, the course is going really well. Um, right now, I'm still trying to figure out if it was really worth it because I'm thinking that for those who don't take a, a prep course, they still make it through CRNA school. So right now, I'm trying to determine if the investment was really worth it. Um, I did it like I said previously, to see what the, the chemistry would be like in CRNA school, but I also did it as a way of showing potential schools and programs that I am serious about it and that I can take graduate level chemistry and math courses. Um, so yeah, so that's that. So modules five and six were organic chemistry, seven was inorganic, and then eight um, talked about anesthetics, nine was intro to anesthetics and then 10 was about ventilation perfusion and circulation so i did relatively good on all of my quizzes um my issue is the same thing that it was in nursing school is that i i answered the question before reading it completely and the way the tests are set up you can't go back um but the I struggle with um module five with the naming of compounds um so the one that really got me were the ones with the cis and trans and then the the in and the middle of the naming i don't even remember i just remember that module i did not do good on my quizzes actually ended up making it 66 on two of those quizzes in module five so I know that my weakness is the naming when it comes to uh, compounds. Um, but other than that, that was the only module that I kind of struggled with. So my favorite module of, uh, was actually module eight because it talks about um, pain management. I'm sorry, I think that 
said something wrong before. So module eight talked about pain management and physics. I I have always really, really liked physics, but I never took a separate physics course. Um, but I actually love that. I love the physics module and I love the, and the two anesthesia models, modules, sorry. So the physics model really broke down um, the anatomy of the cell, the cell membrane, and also the exon. Exxon is the, you remember, you remember from your neural chapter is like the, it's how electrical impulses travel. So it broke it, uh, those, the module broke down how anesthetics work on receptors of the cell membrane and how it affects um, impulses, electrical impulses to decrease excitability. So for me, I really, really enjoyed those two modules. Um, Everything that was in the course related to chemistry, I had already covered in my chemistry course that was, I was required to take before nursing school. Because the course that I took was uh, a combination of general chemistry, organic chemistry, and inorganic chemistry. And I think some biochemistry. Um, so nothing was new to me except for the anesthesia, the anesthetics part of it. Even the ventilation, circulation, and perfusion section as a RN, especially as an ICU nurse, the stuff you are already familiar with. Um, so now I can actually give my opinion. Do I think this course was worth the investment? I do for myself because I feel that it gave me some type of an understanding of what will actually be covered in CRNA school as far as chemistry as far as chemistry being involved um i feel like just even this course didn't even scratch the surface i'm sure of when it comes to learning about anesthesia and anesthetics however just to see it one time um before starting school and then to see it again whenever i do start school would we'll just be like reiterating everything um do i think you need this course for crna school i i I don't know. I can't say. I really cannot say um, until I actually start CRNA school. Then I'll let you know if the course actually helped. Um, I did speak with a lady from Barry who said that the course does help. And the teacher who taught this course does teach the first two semesters at Barry. And he does teach the physics and chemistry part of the program. So if I do get into bear, which I hope I do, um, then I'm already familiar with this guy's teaching style and um, I've seen some things already. Um, so yeah, um, I'm not sure what else. Oh, the, the cost. So this class is a graduate level class. It's in the 600 number range. Um, the course costs $3,000. Um, but you have to remember that it's at a private school. It is a graduate level course. And, um, for me, I took it as an investment into my future, into something that I really want to do. So though it was very cringing to pay that, um, I thank God that I was able to do so. And I am happy that I did it. But you will have to decide for yourself if it's something that you um, sh want, should do. Uh, I'm sure there are many people that get into CRNA school who, who, who hasn't done a prep school, uh, a CRNA school prep course. However, there is a school in North Carolina uh, called Wake Forest, and they very much so encourage students to take these type of courses before CRNA school because apparently it, um, students struggle with the chemistry portion of it. So these courses were created to combat that issue. Um, so the school in North Carolina, Wake Forest, they offer their own course. Um, I'm not, it's not, I, I forgot what it was called. 
And I'm not sure if it's off or if it's online. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you guys that. This course was all online. The quizzes were timed quizzes and they were like nursing school. Once you click and submit and hit next, you can't go back. And there was actually, I think, 45 to 50 students in this class because we had to do two live sessions. And in the corner, um, when people logged in to the session, um, it listed the number of attendees. And I believe it said for our last live we had on August the 2nd, it did say 40, I think it said 49 attendees, uh, which is a really good number. And most of those people were people from out of state. I'm not sure which state, I'm not sure what university, but many of them said that, said that their program required required to take a course like that before starting CRNA school. So yeah, guys, so that is my spiel on this course. Um, I'm excited that it's over and I'm just, yeah.